Let's start with the news that Sachin Tendulkar has pulled out of the relay. Apparently due to the same groin injury that kept him out of the last two test matches against South Africa. But we got lots and lots of sportsmen. If he doesn't come, somebody else will be there in his place. Kalmadi's confidence perhaps stems from the cream of Indian sport he lined up in a show of strength at the IOA's pre-launch event. And the athletes aren't concerned too much about Tandulkar's decision to pull out. The Olympics is a movement which uh, transcends individuality and uh, it's a global phenomenon. And um, uh, of course people, uh, we would all like top sportsmen to join, but if for some personal reason they're unable to, the Olympic movement will go on. The torch will pass through 70 sets of hands on Thursday and that includes the likes of Leander Pace, P.T. Usha, Dhanraj Pillai and Jaspal Rana. Actors Saif Ali Khan, Amir Khan and Chak De Girl Sagarika Ghatke will run too. I've learned that the Olympic movement of peace, harmony and uniting people is truly the greatest honor. After passing through a whole lot of countries, the Olympic torch is finally here in India. It's a big occasion definitely for the Indian torch bearers, though there are valid concerns about the security of the torch when the actual Olympic torch relay takes place in New Delhi on Thursday. In New Delhi, Himanshu Singhal. The Olympic torch reaches India today after a troubled trip across Europe and the United States. The torch faces its maximum threat yet in India as it has the highest number of Tibetan refugees. Security levels are higher than on Republic Day and the relay route has already been shortened. Will the torch pass through India safely? That's the big story we're tracking on CNN and IBN all through the day. All right, shifting focus now, some 3,000 resident doctors in Mumbai and other parts of Maharashtra plan to go on an indefinite strike from today. That's right. Uh, Postgraduate students from 13 government medical colleges in the state are going on strike to protest a reduction in seats in colleges. Hospital services have already been disrupted after students boycotted their duties. The doctors are protesting a reduction in postgraduate medical seats from 653 last year to 411.